Shemuel Shani, 2 Samuel 9. And David said, Is there yet any that is left of the house of Shaul, that I may show him kindness for Yahunathan's sake? And there was of the house of Shaul a servant whose name was Siva. And when they had called him unto El David, the king said unto him, Are you Siva? And he said, Your servant is he. And the king said, Is there not any of the house of Shaul that I may show the kindness of Elohim unto him? And Siva said unto the king, Yahu Nathan has yet a son, which is lame on his feet. And the king said unto him, Where is he? And Siva said unto the king, Behold, he is in the house of Mekir, the son of Ami El, in Lo Devar. Then King David sent and fetched him out of the house of Makir, the son of Ami El, from Lo Devar. Now when Mephibosheth, the king, the, rather, the son of Yahunathan, the son of Shaul, was come unto El David, he fell on his face and did reverence. And David said, Mephibosheth, and he answered, Behold, your servant. And David said unto him, Fear not, for I will surely show you kindness for Yahunathan, your father's sake, and will restore you at all the land of Shaul, your father. And you shall eat bread at my table continually. And he bowed himself and said, What is your servant that you should look upon such a dead dog as I am? Then the king called to Siva, Shaul's servant, and said unto him, I have given unto your master's son all that pertained to Shaul and to all his house. You, therefore, and your sons and your servants shall till eth the land for him, and you shall bring in the fruits that your master's son may have food to eat. But Mephibosheth, your master's son, shall eat bread always at my table. Now Siva had fifteen sons and twenty servants. Then said Siva unto the king, According to all that my lord the king has commanded at his servant, so shall your servant do. As for Mephibosheth, said the king, he shall eat at my table as one of the king's sons. And Mephibosheth had a young son whose name was Mikah. And all that dwelt in the house of Siva were servants unto Mephibosheth. So Mephibosheth dwelt in Yerushalayim, for he did eat continually at the king's table, and was lame on both his feet.